From DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. How often do you hear people say, my God would never do that, without that person having a true understanding of who God even is? Well, right now you can get a free copy of the book None Other by John MacArthur. In the book, you'll discover the only way to discover the one true God. Get your free copy of this book by clicking the Free Stuff tab at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. Offer expires June 2nd. Citizens of Hicksville, New York are not happy with remarks that Robert De Niro makes in his new film The Comedian. People in the Long Island town want De Niro to formally apologize after his character in the movie, a stand-up comedian, joked that Hicksville is home to inbreeding and crystal meth. Hey, it's not Robert De Niro that named your town Hicksville. You did this to yourself, Hickvillians! Last week's brawl among adults at a high school graduation in a church outside Memphis reportedly began over a dispute involving the saving of seats. People, please! It's a high school graduation, not the Super Bowl! It's not all that great a show! Anthony Bourdain has dined with President Obama, but he's very unlikely to break bread with Donald Trump. The celebrity chef explains, I can't see the point, since he only talks about himself and he's only interested in himself. And that makes it really hard for Anthony Bourdain to talk about his favorite subject of Anthony Bourdain. This is both sad and hilarious. If the presidential election were held today, Despite all of the antics that have taken place since he took office, Trump would still defeat Hillary Clinton. However, a separate study shows that, again, if the presidential election were held today, Dwayne The Rock Johnson would beat President Trump by a margin of 42 to 37 percent. Man, that's got to make Hillary feel special. Police say that a Massachusetts woman arrested this week after she knocked over six mailboxes while allegedly drunk driving had a lizard in her bra. Even worse, the lizard was supposed to be keeping an eye out for the cops. Al Gore's vice presidential running mate, Joseph Lieberman, is said now to be the front runner for the new FBI director. Oh, okay, well, second runner, actually. Uh, Trump has already offered the gig to Meatloaf, but we're not holding out our breath on that one. In Bostwick, Florida, police say an unnamed man learned the hard way that kissing a rattlesnake is a really bad idea. The idiot was reportedly bitten on the tongue while trying to kiss said rattlesnake and had to be airlifted to a hospital where he was listed in critical condition. Well, This won't surprise you in the least, a friend of the victim said the man had been drinking while handling the seemingly calm eastern diamondback rattlesnake. But when he moved toward the reptile, as though to kiss it, the snake bit him. By the way, did you catch that he was bitten on the tongue? Okay, let this be a lesson to you, buddy. You don't lean in for a kiss with a snake or a woman with the tongue already out. That's just wrong. British bookies say gamblers are betting that Donald Trump won't finish out his term in office. Meanwhile, the ghostwriter of The Art of the Deal says Donald Trump will figure out a way to resign from office. Wow. Even Trump doesn't want to see Trump in the White House. You better start polishing those shoes, Mr. Pence. A new study found that more than half of American doctors are burnt out, exhausted, and losing their sense of purpose. The phrase, they're not alone, comes to mind. Last week, a man in Washington state tried to get out of drug charges by bribing the policeman with Taco Bell. Stupid! Taco Bell? Come on, everybody knows you bribe cops with Krispy Kreme. Have you signed up for the Marler Sheet? It's free, and everybody who subscribes is automatically entered into monthly drawings for prizes. And for this month, May 2017, I'm giving away a daily dose of Weird News t-shirt and mug combo, and you can sign up for the Marler Sheet free at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more and click that little bell icon next to the subscribe button to be notified when I post new videos. And if you're already an official weirdo, well, please share this video on your own social media. Find even more weird news that I didn't have time for on the Facebook page at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. I'm Darren Marlar, and I'll see you next time, weirdos!